Solomon Pulsar Trail. So Solomon's first forte into a trail shoe with a plate in it. It's not what I expected, and in a good way. It's got the consistency of the Solomon shoe range. So I was expecting a completely redesigned shoe that I was gonna go and run fast as I've run 100 meters in down the road in years. And trail shoes are different to the road. You need agility, you need grip, um, but you also need that ground contact. So you need to know you've got consistency when you land on the ground across a variety of trains that you're not gonna go slipping off into the bush. And that's what this shoe achieves. It's got the plate in it. Let's, we'll go into that in a minute. It feels better, it's faster. However, it's still the Solomon shoe you know and love. So it's got that Solomon feel in the toe box. The grip, number one, is amazing. So there's been a redesign of the grip. The lugs are uh, thinner, the pattern's different. It's a new Contra grip and it's hands down the best Solomon grip I've tried. And then maybe the Speed 2, um, you know, a real fell racing shoe with major lugs in, in mud um, is still going to be better. But as far as a variety of trains and all-rounder, the, the grip by far the best I've tried. So when you're talking trail shoes, <laughs> yeah. Grip comes up there with one of the most important things. When it comes to redesign, Solomon have put in what they're calling the energy blade. So some of the other competitors, when you think about plates, what they've done with their shoes, the feedback I've got from other athletes is that they don't feel fast in them. It's just there more so, it feels like it helps them over a distance. It's a bit more efficient. What I was looking for from these Pulsar trails was actually a speed improvement. I wanted to feel like when I went to run in a plated trail shoe, I actually felt faster. And Solomon achieves that with this one in a different way to what the road shoes do with their plates. But if you look at the Pulsar trail, it doesn't have a full rocker from front to back. So it's a little bit flatter um, through the heel and then it comes into a rocker at the front. It's a six mil drop. But to me, it actually feels like you're quite neutral in the shoe. But when you toe off, it's always pushing you onto your forefoot. So when you think about you're on a good gravel trail and you're wanting speed, it's always propping you up and giving you forward momentum. I'm actually, I'm loving it. It's taken me 400K to really make my mind up as to what this shoe's designed to do. It's not as soft as the Ultra Glide. So that's the, uh, the latest shoe that I gave my thoughts on. It was a really nice shoe and had a full rocker, really soft um, foam. Obviously with a plate in this one, it's a little bit more responsive, so it's not quite as soft. And I've been trialing the Pulsar Trail. So there is also a Pulsar Trail Pro, which has even a, a stiffer plate in it, which would be more inclined to be a racer. So what I'm trialing is your everyday shoe. So when I go into my garage at the moment, this is the shoe that I'm grabbing off my shoe rack um, nine out of 10 times to go and run. The promise of plates in trail shoes, you can feel it makes a difference. However, it's sticking true to what trail shoes are and what they need to achieve. I think they are gonna find that this will develop and there'll be eventually a more race bred design shoe. Um, but at the moment, if you wanna go out and run with an all rounder, you could get away with running it on the road as well. Um, however, like we said, there's obviously shoes designed for the road and shoes designed for the trail. But this is the shoe that I'd choose every day of the week to go out and run. And if I needed to go and race in it tomorrow, I 100% would. I'll still use my Ultra Glide when I go out and do some of my easier runs when I'm just wanting a nice softer feel. But for everything else, this Solomon Pulsar Trail is uh, my new number one go-to off the shoe rack.